Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Voice a little low, but we'll still get her taken care of. Today, we are taking a look at the Brett Moffat 2020 Daytona Circle B Diecast uh, truck. Uh, as you know, I used to get every Circle B Diecast truck, and they've sponsored so many trucks, I can no longer keep up. That's okay, though. I'm still going to get my, uh, my guy, Brett Moffat, uh, his trucks every time they come out. So, let's go ahead and dig into it here. We got the autographed edition, so we do have a certificate of authenticity that just says it is the uh, signature. And then we have the Nice Motorsports box here. Camping World Truck Series there. And there you see a render of the truck from the front. Silverado on that front end there. Uh, go ahead and look over on this side. One of 144 for the Plan B. Actually, it says Plan B sales up there, but it says Circle B diecast on the actual truck. So I uh, got Nice Motorsports, official diecast NASCAR. Um, you know, good old regular stuff. So pretty bland, but, um, you know, it's got everything in there, in there that we could ask for, right? All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this car. This thing looks awesome. We'll go down the left side. You can see we got our gloss white front end here. We got the, the classic Circle B logo there. Uh, we got the number 45. Uh, you can see we got the blue and the black and gray kind of going down the side. We got Brett Moffat on the name rail. He was supposed to run the full season, but then he decided to swap to Xfinity points. I believe uh, Al Nice was not very thrilled about that and uh, therefore revoked the ride, uh, which is understandable. He signed a contract to run this truck, but at the same time, um, you know, the truck didn't exactly win any races with anyone behind the wheel. So uh, I would have thought a veteran would have made more sense, but, um, you know, maybe he's looking at the points thing instead of, you know, uh, how badly they were running. Uh, but anyway, we got Circle B diecast there. You can see we got the ethanol ring there. You got Circle B and Chevrolet on the back here. We can see we got the Shores Resort and Spa there. We got Nice on the deck lid or the very rear bumper. Uh, Mobile One is also back there. Moffat on the rear window. Over to the right side, you can see we got Circle B diecast, Mobile One. There's that number 45 again. There's our tailpipes. You can see we can look inside the right side and see the, all the detail in the cab. Um, that's where you can take and add a little detail with a little... Um, model paint same with the rims you can add some detail there um because there is it is lacking a little bit there but we do have chevy on the on the uh, bar there on the brace got the signature right there on the windshield and as i said we do have that b logo black splitter across the bottom number 45 and then nice motorsports on the other side um so yeah, other than that though, um, underneath the here we got DIN number 109, there's our tailpipes, but um, really a, a pretty decent looking truck. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite of the Circle B diecast um, cars, I do really like the throwback they did with Johnson. Um, but other than that, it is it is a very solid, it's a classic Circle B car. What does that mean? It's got the blue. It's got the white. It's primarily white. And so it, it definitely fits in. Um, good grief, I'd love to see them all side by side anymore. I, I have like 12 of them by the time I, I was done, but, um, y'all, they gotta be getting close to 30 trucks, I would think, by now, almost, um, at least 30 that are gonna be coming this way, so it'd be cool, I can't wait to kind of see, um, how that looks when they get them all put together like that, but, um, yeah, overall, it's another good addition to the Brett Moffat collection, so, um, definitely had to pick this one up for, uh, for my guy there, but, um, other than that, that'll pretty much wrap up this review, uh, a new thing I have instituted is a scale rating from 1 to 10, um, if I have to be objective on just the paint scheme, this this paint scheme is going to be about a six and a half to a seven. Um, you know, the paint scheme looks fine. It's solid. It's nothing that blows my socks off, but that's fine because five is average. So it's above average um, because it's like it, I don't have any main complaints to it, but it's just slightly above average. So I'm going to I'm going to put it at a, at a six out of ten um, in terms of paint scheme. Again, that just means what it actually looks like paint scheme wise. Uh, in my personal opinion, it goes up because I'm a huge Brett Moffat fan. Um, so that obviously that makes that you can add like two to three points just for it being your guy. You know, it could be the ugliest car in the world. If you're a Brett Moffat fan, boom, you're getting it. So it's, you know, it's already on that stage. But um, yeah, if I had to do the honest opinion on, uh, you know, one out of 10 paint scheme or, or, you know, paint scheme and die cast, I got to give this one a six. Good looking car. It's just not, you know, it's just slightly above average. And that's where it's at. You know, it's not, um, not a bad thing. To, to be above average. It's just, uh, you know, I, I can't give everything a 10 or otherwise a 10 doesn't mean anything. So uh, anyway, guys, that'll wrap up the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, hit the bell, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Um, hopefully we'll have some new stuff coming in in the next few days to do some reviews on and my voice is slowly coming back. So uh, thanks for watching. This has been Race Craze and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.